Hello friends, happy Friday, unless you're watching this in the future, in which case, happy whatever day it happens to be. Uh, this is Super House of Dead Ninjas. I just noticed that in the title screen, the ninja's outfit is the same color as whatever the last outfit you were wearing was. That's a pretty neat touch. This music has like a sound effect. Or something, a sample that sounds a lot like the Steam message sound. Like, sort of the same type of beep. It always freaks me out for just a second. Hello, Citron Van in the chat. How is everyone tonight? Let me see the chat. Thanks to Nightbot. Always, always vigilant. Uh, let's get started. We had some pretty good runs on Wednesday. Or I did. I, I don't know about you guys. Unlocked a bunch of stuff. Some of it good, some of it not so good. Uh, the deepest in the tower I got was floor number 295. Which isn't bad, because... Well, on normal anyway, the last level was uh, like 350, I think. So I was pretty close. Hello, Sai Um, So yeah, uh, I, was, I was definitely improving as I went. I think... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't want to jinx it, but I think there might be a chance that I will defeat Arbargle tonight. I don't know. Uh, the only new weapon I unlocked that I haven't tried yet is the dynamite, which sounds amazing. Oh, hey, Bippo. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, sorry. I, I know my streams aren't very uh, non American friendly, but. Uh, I want to do an earlier one on the weekend sometime, so my European viewers have a better uh, have a better chance of catching it. Uh, Inzu Draragna, or Taz, as I think he likes to be called. So I have two tickets to transdimensional leakage. Oh, okay. So I guess the achievement, because to get the dynamite, it said collect three tickets, but I guess that was overall, not uh, not you don't you don't. Wanna, don't have to have three tickets at the same time because I already spent one. But I think I'm going to hold off on transdimensional leakage until after I've at least conquered the roof or conquered the main tower. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there are only two difficulty settings here, but there's a lot of room for this to expand on the left and the right. So I'm pretty sure after I beat this on hard, there are going to be more options afterwards. Uh, call it a hunch. Oh, okay. Well. Sorry you're tired, Bippo, but I, I appreciate you hanging out anyway. You don't have video, Saya-chan? Does, does anyone else not have video? Hopefully, you should all have video. Uh, try refreshing, I guess, because it looks like I'm streaming out video. Alright, enough of my gabbin. Alright, so I'm still, I'm still trying to get the, uh... Oh, right. Wow, that's a pretty big, pretty big explosion. Uh, I'm still trying to get the make it to the boss without killing anything achievement or unlock. So I'm going to keep keep trying that. But if I do end up killing something accidentally, I'm going to uh, just continue. Am I planning to get the DLC? Well, I wasn't, but uh, I don't know. I might. Depends on how much it is what it includes, all that kind of stuff. Because I know there are, I know there are items... Oops, I totally forgot about my pacifism. Oh well. I know there are items that unlock when you buy the DLC. And if that's all it is, it might not be worth it. I, I, I'll have to see what the other... Uh, what else is available. So uh, after this stream, uh, I'll, I'll do this for a couple hours. Then I'll do a chill stream. Probably play some Splunky, since that's kind of kind of my default stream game now. You know, I love Splunky. I love going back to it. There's still stuff I need to do in it, so why not? Might feel like playing something different though. Never know. But it will probably be Splunky, because the only other game I'm playing right now is. Uh, Dragon Warrior 7, 
And A, I don't have any way of streaming that because it's on the P PlayStation. Well, it's a PlayStation game. I'm playing it on my PS2. But uh, also, don't know if that would make a very interesting streaming game. Because it would be a lot of reading text and grinding random RPG battles, which... I don't know, could be fun under the right circumstance, but I'm not sure if, uh, if anyone would want to watch that. But it's moot anyway because I don't have a video capture device I can use with my PS2. I have an HDMI video capture device that doesn't work, or it works, but not reliably. I think if I upgrade the amount of RAM in my computer, shit. Oh well, wasted too much time trying to kill the pig. If I upgrade my RAM, I might be able to use that capture device more reliably. So I could capture like Xbox games and stuff. But uh I don't know. There aren't really many Xbox games I would I'd really want to stream. Xbox 360, not Xbox One. I don't have any of the fancy new consoles yet. Yep, I think I knew that. The DLC also gives you another character to play and a new difficulty mode. Well, that might be interesting then. I am interested to see how many difficulty modes the base game has. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's more than just normal and hard. I don't like this guy. Shit. So I think I will cheese him. Well, cheese him as much as I can anyway. Shit! Man, I was doing so well until I made it to uh, to Rage. He's, he's one of the early bosses. I haven't really figured out his strategy yet. Of course, I could be completely wrong. There might be no more difficulty modes after I beat it on hard. But, uh... Well... There's, there's always trans-dimensional leakage, which is kind, it's kind of its own difficulty mode. Even if it is under the banner of hard. So, uh, I, I want to see whatever that mode has to offer. But yeah, I'll probably end up getting the DLC eventually. Frogs are too small to shoot. I like the shield, it's kinda like getting a one-up. Like it like it's the next best thing. Man, the, the sound effect when you're about to run out of time is pretty frightening. Shit! It's almost as frightening as the running out of oxygen sound music in Sonic the Hedgehog. But not quite. Shit. And it would be cool if the bombs that enemies use were replaced by, uh, by whatever kind of bombs you have equipped at the time. Like, you start using the dynamite and all the enemies start, start using dynamite. That'd be pretty awesome. Probably better that that's not the case, though. Don't want to get the curse. Shit. I haven't seen anything official about the curses. Like, any tips from the ghost or anything. So, not, not sure what the deal with those is. Like, if there's any, any anything more to them, or if they're just crappy things that you never want to get. Is something beeping, Bippa? Shit. Okay, well, this is my first run of the night, and, uh... Shit. Tried to do my, uh, my slash attack on that dragon. I never want to watch that dying animation again. That's, uh... That's not fun to watch. Man, I was so close to getting the survive for 10 minutes unlock in the last video, too. Like, it says my longest is 10 minutes there, but, uh, 
I don't think it counts if you use shortcuts, because I haven't gotten that unlock yet. But in my last video, with no shortcuts, I had like 9 minutes and 40 seconds or something like that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty close. What is that, uh, that achievement anyway? 50 fairies in total. I've only found one, and I don't even know what it is. Play the game 50 times? Okay. Well, that's inevitable. Still don't know what an EX minion is. See, that's what makes me think that there, there are more difficulty modes. Because, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a little more terrifying than beep boop beep boop beep. But, uh... Yeah, I, I see what you're going for. Okay, well, I only need one more fairy to get this. 450 for 150. See, I'm not sure what it means when it says of the basement. Have I even gotten to the basement yet? I'm not sure. 10 minutes, yeah. Okay, so it would be a, uh, a projectile upgrade for that. Alright, well, let's get going. Alright, let's see if I can actually be a pacifist this time. Oops! I thought I was still using my, uh... My trigger bombs. Whatever they're called. Just passing through. Nothing to see here. Just, just a lady. Heading down a tower. Nothing to worry about. Wait, was that a life up? Did he give me points because I'm already at full health? What did it look like? Oh, hey, Rodfather. I know that guy. He's been streaming lately. Recently. No game I'm, I'm super interested in. Uh, shit! He was doing uh, the Binding of Isaac, which is cool. He usually streams when I'm not around, though. He plays a lot of... Uh, like strategy games and stuff and horror games. It's pretty cool dude. I recommend him. I wonder what the big deal with the corpse parts is, because there's a weapon that says it doesn't leave behind any like chunks of bodies or anything. And I wonder why that's good. Like, why Why does it matter? Or, or if it's just like a cosmetic thing. Okay, Smither. More than I needed to know. Oh, not get hit for X minutes. Okay, well, yes, that would be tougher. Binding of Isaac remake? I have already purchased it. I, uh, as an owner of the Binding of Isaac, I got a, uh, 33% discount for pre-ordering, and I am hella looking forward to it. Shit. Once it comes out, that'll probably be my mainstream game for a while. Like, it will replace Splunky as my, uh, my go-to default stream. If it's good. I mean, I guess there's always a chance that, uh, that it won't play right or whatever. Namajin? Also, someone I know. I mean, I, I should know them all because they're on my Steam friends list, but, uh... I just kind of add... You know, whoever adds me. Because, you know, why not? Unless they turn out to be... Uh, not fun to talk to or something. Then I remove them. But, most of them have been pretty fun to talk to. Keep that rage going. Aw, uh, magic doesn't count. Hold on. So yes, yeah, so there are probably people who popped up who are on my friends list, but I'm just not familiar with their names.
100 points. Not really worth the time it took to jump up there and get that. But, oh well. Oh yeah, that's true. The enemies with spikes on their back. It would be nice if I could obliterate their corpses. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking forward, forward to it too. This guy again? Shit. I wonder what happens if I... Uh, yeah, because it said no... Uh, like, no outer walls. And I, I guess this would count with the, uh, with the dynamite. I wonder if I could like bomb my way back. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. That's not an outer wall. Line game. Yeah, but anyway, this remake looks awesome. Like, it's not just a remake. I mean, he's adding, or they're adding, a ton of content to the game, too. Like, I, I think I read somewhere that uh, he's adding as much content as the Wrath of the Lamb expansion added. Like, an equal amount of, uh, of new stuff in the game. And, like, there's a map editor, so people can make, like, their own custom dungeons that you can play. And there's a, uh... Like, the rooms can be a lot bigger than, than they can be in, in normal Binding of Isaac. Looks awesome. All kinds of new items and stuff. And, like, they added, like, ways the items can interact with each other. Like, if you, if you read the Binding of Isaac blog, or I guess it's just the, uh... Oops! I guess it's just the, the Team Meat blog? Oh no, not Team Meat, because uh, the other guy on Team Meat doesn't work on the Binding of Isaac. I, I guess it's just Edmund's blog. He's supposed to like animated GIF screenshots and stuff of like different item combinations. And like some of the ways they interact is just... It looks pretty nuts. Like honestly, I hope it doesn't unbalance the game the way some of the combinations work. But uh... You know, I, I trust them to, uh, to be good at balancing it. Because, I mean, the normal game is super well balanced, so... I have faith. Oh my god. Dumbest way to die ever. I guess gliding is when you hold down the jump button and fall a little bit slower. Hmm, maybe I should try the nunchucks again. Now that I know about the glide. Nice! Full health. I didn't notice you could, like, see their eyes before they appear. Like, in the background. Like, there were pink dots that, uh, that gave away their position. So, I guess I should pay closer attention to that. See, there's one. Man, the sound effect when those guys die really reminds me of a sound effect from Chakan on the uh, on the Genesis. Oh, thank you, Bippo. Yeah, I, f I feel like I'm doing better. Uh, I'm still making some pretty dumb mistakes from time to time. Yes, exactly, Citron. Most important thing about the Binding of Isaac remake, it's not Flash. Which means it'll actually play well on most people's computers. Oh god. Shit. See, I tried to charge up my jump when he was too close to me, and uh, I kind of feel bad that I that I got hit there. Damn it! Curse the short length of the sword. Maybe I should go back to the whip. Damn it! Oh god! Wow, that dude dropped a lot of stuff. He dropped two health instead of just one. I'm okay with that, and I got a familiar. A fairy with a pickaxe. That doesn't say, hey, listen all the time. Which, 
fairies are prone to do. Well, I bungled that one. Oh man, bull honky. I mean, the nice thing about this game is that when you get a little good at it, you just really feel like a badass. So, I mean, I'm not, uh... Like, I'm not the world's best House of Dead Ninja player, but, uh... But you feel like it. Shit. For example... I should not have, uh... Should not have tried to attack that guy into a shield. Damn it, I was gonna go after that W, but... Screw it. And actually get these uh, these crates now that I can blow up these statues. Well, I guess I could have always blown up the statues, but uh, it's a little easier with the dynamite. And this one's south pretty quickly, it looks like. I'm gonna take my shit, take my chances with that guy. Or 228, that's pretty good. It says 295 is my is my uh, best, but I, I guess that's in one run as well, because otherwise it would be 350, because I made it all the way to the bottom of the tower. Damn it, so close to, to 10 minutes again, jeez. This is like a repeat of my of my last playthrough. See, if I really want to get the uh, play for 10 minutes achievement, like I said in, in the last video, I should just wait. When, whenever I get to a time pickup, I should just run out, run out the clock. But uh, that's not that's not really fun to watch. See, there I should have just waited around for 30 seconds before I picked that up. I think my main mistake in this game is that I'm too obsessed with uh, going fast, and uh, I, I do I make dumb, careless mistakes. Like I, I actually, I can actually slow my roll a little bit and probably be fine because, well, a I have 35 seconds on the timer now instead of 30, and b. Like I, I really don't need to hurry as much as, as much as I am, because clock clocks are fairly plentiful. At least they are so far. These guys want to shoot me when I drop down there. Toothy McGee. Pretty sure that's not a person. Hmm. Oh, this sucks. See, I'd rather get hit than uh, than run into one of those enemies. Like get hit by the uh, the Grim Reaper or whoever it is who comes and kills me when I run out of time. Wait, your treasure time? Okay. Wrecking Crew. Don't think I played it. Uh, shucks. Looks like I won't be able to get that time. Oh well. Bonus. Magic. Bonus. Yep. When you get a, a health pickup when you have full health, or full lives, I guess, gives you 10,000 points. Shit. Oh well. At least I didn't hit an enemy. Ammo? Okay, that's safe to pick up. I just, I just can't pick up the, uh, the smart bomb. Nice! Oh, this monkey. Shit, well at least I didn't kill him. That's the important thing. Let me tell you something, as soon as I get this dumb unlock, I'm, uh, killing everything I see, whether I need to or not.
I mean, obviously I need to kill everything. Oh god, I'm not there yet? I've been going for so long. I think I made it. Didn't see... Oh, yep, there it is. Nice. And it's just this guy. He's pretty easy to deal with. He's pretty easy to deal with. If you don't jump into him like a dumbass. Let me tell you something, Mantis. I haven't killed anything yet. I have a lot of bloodlust built up. And you're the first thing I can take it out on. Thanks, Citron. Alright, well, I'm only one health down. It's not too bad. And I can kill again. I'm gonna try to get as many of those uh, tickets as I can. Because, you know, eventually... I should've just shot the monkey. Eventually I'm gonna want to actually do that transdimensional vortex thing. I think that's a neat way of, like, gating progress. Like, making you collect things in the normal game before you can, uh, before you can do the super hard version. And, like, at least, at least it look like you can do it as You can restart as many times as you want when you use a ticket, as long as you don't go back to the main menu. So that seems like a pretty non-annoying way of doing it. My best strategy for, for killing a herd of, uh, of pigs is spamming the gun. Damn it! I was hoping I could chop through that more quickly than that. I guess that works too. Plus, I think. I guess when you use a gun, it doesn't actually give you rage. Because otherwise, I would have gotten it from that first herd of pigs. Okay. Got another ticket, nice. Of course I'm playing like garbage all of a sudden. Monday? Palomine? See, that's, that's actually something I should learn and, like, memorize. I got the thing I wanted. Yep, I got whatever the unlock is for, uh... For making it to the boss without killing anything. Not even sure what the unlock is. I just, I just knew it's something I can get. Nice. Bullshit. How did the pig not die? Oh my god! I saw there was nothing in this area, so I was looking down to see what came next. And the guy just popped up out of nowhere. Spamming the gun to kill pigs. That's exactly Bippo. I totally intended that pun. I think I might have just died in the worst way possible. But, I got the unlock I wanted. Let's see what the heck it is. Trapno Bomb. Well, I do like the dynamite a whole lot, but there's another unlock you get for using the Trapno Bomb. I have to kill three enemies in one go with it, which shouldn't be that hard. Ooh, it's like a sticky bomb. 
That'll be nice to have. Well, maybe. I'm not sure how useful that'll be in this game. Hey, Sarah. Yep. Way more ninjas. I think I want to switch out of this suit, though. I mean, it's nice, but uh, it's a little plain. Not sure which one is my favorite. I like Fuchsia a lot, but I also like Blue Moon a lot. Alright, so I, sw I switched to the Shrapnel Bomb, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, anything else I want to try to get? Man, this is going to be a really hard one to get. The Kusarigama. This one, I'm, I'm working towards. But, uh, might be a while. Or another boss I apparently haven't found yet. Discussed. See? This this also makes me think that there, there are more difficulty levels because there are bosses that just haven't shown up at all. Boomerang. Yeah, I'll, I'll get this one eventually. I don't really like the boomerang that much. Need to unlock the axe by killing Doom before I can get that. 250,000 points. That's a lot of points. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Let's just keep the eyes on the prize. One more run? Okay, that's cool. Alright, I can kill whatever the hell I want now. I can kill you, and you. Or I can be killed by you, you know. Just for a, uh... Just for a change of pace. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't take damage yet. Very, uh, very nice of the game. To give you... A beginning area where you can't take damage and you don't have to worry about your time. Alright, so next time I see a cluster of like three enemies in one area, I'm going to have to uh, remember to, to bomb them. Wow, okay, that rage going a lot longer than, uh, than I thought it would. Get it, a cluster of enemies. Use my cluster bomb on them. Because, you know, clusters are good at picking up clusters. Like the old saying goes, fight clusters with clusters. Probably could have used it in that shaft, but, uh... I wonder... Okay, so yeah, it doesn't, uh... It's not like another explosion or anything. 10,000 points. Oh, here we go. Alright. Hmm. Yep, got it. Nice. Alright. Means I can switch back to the uh, dynamite on the next run. Or, I don't know, the cluster bomb's kind of cool. Not sure... I think the dynamite's probably more useful, though. Get it? On the bomb? It's like a... Oh, never mind. So I just watched the uh, the new trailer for Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and uh, I was kind of on the fence about that game. But I, I like Borderlands and Border Borderlands 2 a whole lot. But, like this, the pre-sequel is going to be made by like a different team than the team that worked on, or teams that worked on those games, and I just wasn't sure if it would like be worth it. But uh, I, th I think the trailer sold me on it. That's uh, it's a game I'm definitely going to pick up at some point. Probably soon.
Let's play. You know what would be a better name for this boss would be Sprite? Because, I mean, look at him. He's like totally lemon lime flavored. Or lemon lime colored. have actually been hit yet except for in the tutorial which I don't think that counts usually the third in a series sucks hmm that's an interesting uh, an interesting theory I'm not sure not sure how accurate it is, shit, when uh, when referring to video games. Cause uh, I mean, just look at Super Mario Brothers three, which was the best in the series. So I mean, I realize that's just one example, and that uh, that the plural of an of anecdote is not data, but uh, you know, it, it makes a strong case. Oh, what the? Oh, that was a fairy. My uh, my familiar unearthed it for me. It was like it was hidden inside a block. I wonder how how you're supposed to know it's there if you don't have the familiar. What? Bull honky. I should never have said. I don't think I've been hit yet. That's the worst thing you can say in this game or any game. But especially a game inspired by roguelikes. Like, you never want to say... I think I'm doing pretty awesome in a game like Splunky or The Binding of Isaac or Super House of Dead Ninjas. So, I, I wonder something. Hmm, okay. Is the two fairies rescued? I guess that's overall. Because I'm pretty sure... Wait a second. Oh. I didn't realize I was that low on time. I was like, was the, was the timer running down while it was paused? That would not have been. But no, it wasn't. Oh yeah, I can actually see what's in these things now. I didn't realize uh, the x-ray glasses, glasses would work on these. Well, um, smart bomb wouldn't help me much. I'm almost full on bombs. So I guess I'll take the money. Plus, there's bombs right down here, so it would have been silly for me to take those bombs. Fudge! I think it's raging time. It's like they put those, uh, they put those huge clusters of enemies there just as a way to reward you with an instant rage. But I mean, they could just put like a rage pickup, an instant rage power up there, but it's more satisfying to just kill a shitload of enemies with one or two attacks. Oh god. That was a close call. FUD! I think I just said FUD. That's a new one. Yeah, what, what achievement was that? Oh yeah. Everyone, the bump has started an event. Y'all should probably go check it out. Clean of hearts. Oh yeah, I guess it's just, just decapitating a lot of people. So it says off with their heads. That makes sense. Borderlands 1 and 2 already sucked. Uh, I, I disagree. I like them a lot. Especially 2. 
That was a fun ass game. I like dumb fun stuff like Borderlands and Saints Row. I, I like having a good time. I'm a fan of fun. Stabbed in the back, and I'm to blame. I stab turtles with my katana. It's a pretty messed up looking turtle. Looks like a Metroid enemy, almost. It's some kind of weird alien, more than a, uh, a, a monster demon. Man, it, sh it should reward you if you kill a boss without taking a point of damage. Like, it should give you more stuff. More health. Oh god. Oh yeah. Come on, familiar. There you go. Kaboom. Oh, I guess, I guess one of those enemies had like a, a, a worm inside it or something. Shit. Bonus soda. Walter White. Not expecting to see him here. Damn it. Oh, come on, that wasn't rage worthy? Oh well. Shit. That's a lot of points. Holy crap. I just say, uh, I made that one worth my while. Am I full on ammo? Nah. Yeah. One more. That's probably, uh, not worth the time. Oh well. Alright, so red only shoot flames near them. Okay. I can remember that. It's like red fire, blue, something else. So something that's not fire. Oh yeah, with the x-ray specs you can also see when those, uh, the Spectre guys have an item. So that's another way to, uh, to perceive them. And I'm just getting achievements and unlocks up the wazoo. Oh god. Oh god. Phew. Dumb pig, you almost ruined all my plans. I hate how scared I am of frogs in this game. Frogs should not be that scary. Ninjinity. That's pretty awesome. What's the deal with this guy? Can I not kill him until he pops out? That's pretty annoying. What the? Oh, you can get pickups in that purple stuff? Didn't even realize that. Kinda weird. No! You bastard! Shit! Damn, 293 floors. That was a pretty good run. Have I ever actually let the timer run out? Yeah, it's like, kinda like the ghost in Splunky. An enemy comes out that, uh... That hits you. Oops! I meant to uh, look at my look at my stuff. Uh, quit. Yeah, I do panic when the timer gets low, and I I need to work on that. I like the dubstep gun, Sarah, but uh, but I'm a dubstep fan.
Like I said, I like dumb, fun stuff. Like dubstep. And a gun that fires dubstep. Alright. First of all, let's see what that achievement I just got was. Oh wait! 250,000 points, nice. Didn't realize that's, uh, that's what I got. Oh shit! Since I started a new game, I guess it doesn't show me what my new unlock was. Oh wait, it was this, right? The foe randomizer. Randomizes all enemies on screen. Hmm. That sounds fun. Alright, well, that's a milestone I wasn't even expecting to get. Alright, so now that I got the shrapnel bomb, well, I guess I should try this out. Now it says mass inconvenience, which kind of makes me think that, uh, that it's going to be like the annoying grenade. But it, is it inconvenient for me or for the enemies? Oh wait, when did I- oh! That's another 250,000 point thing. So wait, shit. B does not go back in this game, <laughs> or it's not even B, it's uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what key that is. Alright, so so this was also 250,000 points, no wait, 20 cash pickups, okay. So this was a 250k thing, the Hadouken, the Ha Hadouken, passes through walls, ooh, I think I'll try that out. Alright, did I get anything else that's not showing up, or that showed up but I didn't notice? I don't think so. Yeah, all, all the stuff looks familiar. I'd like to get all of these. Go 10 named enemies in one game, okay. That seems doable. 10 of the fish in one run, okay. Avoid the Grim Reaper for 20 seconds, oh shit. I guess I didn't look at the, uh, the criteria for unlocking these. Crush 50 enemy skulls, okay. DLC. Defeat him without losing life. Ooh. I don't know about that. 20 crates in a single game? Okay, that'll happen eventually. Talk to 10 ghosts. Okay. So I, I, I do remember that one. Survive horror for 60 seconds without getting hit. Okay. That might be a difficulty mode, actually. I'm not sure. Get into a rage for 60 seconds or more. I know I've come pretty close with that one. Juggle a duck for 3 seconds. Okay. And DLC, okay. Wonder why why there's like a blank here. Not sure. Oh hey, CPC Gamer, what's up? Oh, horror is a boss, okay. I I wasn't sure. That means you just have to waste time in the boss for sixty seconds without getting hit? That seems bad. Alright, well, let's uh, check out all my cool new stuff. I have four tickets now, which seems pretty good. Um, but I still... shit. Still don't want to do trans-dimensional weakness just yet. Alright, so make sure I have my loadout the way I want. It seems good. Man, it'd be really nice to get this. Well, I don't know might not be that much better than what I have, I'm not sure. See, judging by the pattern, because yeah, sword, upgraded sword, nunchucks, upgraded nunchucks, it seems to me like this would be an upgraded whip, but uh, I, I guess it's not necessarily going to be the case, since it says lightsaber. If it has like the reach of the whip and it destroys enemy corpses, that would be, uh, that would be the tops. That would be aces. All right. All right, let's check out this Hadouken. Okay, so it goes through walls, but it doesn't go through enemies. Which I guess makes sense, because that would be kind of broken. If you go through, like, multiple enemies with one, with one powered-up thing. Seems like that would be useful for fighting a boss, though. I'll have to, uh, have to try that out. Right, I'm still raging, so I'm trying to keep this going. Man, 60 seconds is going to be tough. I'm actually not sure if I've come that close or not. Shit. Like, that was only 19 seconds, and that felt like a really long time. Haha. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. Customized voice sample for the Hadouken. It's a nice touch. See, I actually thought it would take a lot longer for me to get a quarter, a quarter of a million points. I thought I would end up having to actually do a full run, you know, killing Argle Bargle and all that before I could, before I would accumulate that many points. Wait, what did it? Oh, I guess that was a, another letter. Yeah, exactly, CPC. It's freaking awesome. I didn't know, I didn't know Sakura had a Hadouken, but I'm, I was never the biggest Street Fighter fan. Nice. Kill the monkey. Keep this rage train rolling. Up, oh, it's out. Oh well. Although a fully charged up Hadouken does have a pretty wide area of effect. Oh, that's that's actually helpful to know. But I figured that out. All right, see you later, Bippo. Thanks for hanging out. Now, as you can see, gamer Bippo, uh, Bippo should probably sleep. Although, you can't really, uh, like, it does take a second to, uh, like, like, even if you don't charge it up, it still kind of, uh, takes a second to fire, so you can't spam it the same way you can the gun. Aw. Oh yeah, big test level 99. I'm not sure if he uh, he watches my stuff anymore, but he uh, he gave me quite a generous package of games on my Steam wish list a while back. So if you're watching Big Tesla, appreciate you. I think he's like an engineer or something. All right, man, don't have a lot of ammo. Wait, does it take more ammo to do a charge shot? Nope, still just one. Okay. Don't have a lot of bombs either. Shit. And it's this guy. Alright, well, rather than sp spamming bullets, I'll just spam magic at him. Ah. Oh. Don't think the charged up Hadouken did that much more damage. But maybe, maybe I didn't actually charge it up enough. Uh, yep, Inzu, they're all for my Steam friends list. Actually, I've killed you a couple times during the course of this, of the series. Uh, yes, the letters, CPC, uh, they give you a ticket to go to the trans-dimensional leakage area of the game, which is like a super hard, uh, difficulty level, and there's a bunch of weird stuff there. Like, the walls are made out of unicorns and hamburgers and math. Like it's pretty. It's. Oh god! What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. How the hell is a game just going to spring something like that on me? Oh shit! Look at this crap. Is it giving me like the super hard area since I haven't taken a lot of hits? Is it like an adaptive difficulty thing going on? So the fact that there's an achievement for dodging the Grim Reaper for 20 seconds makes me think that he's not as as worrisome as I thought he would be because I thought the Grim Reaper was always going to be an automatic hit if you run out of time but if you can avoid him for 20 seconds or if it's possible then maybe uh, he's not as bad as I thought. Yeah I have no idea Jack that was that was really weird. Shit. Kind of bullshit, actually. What? Where the hell did you come from?
yeah, I don't think I actually did a fully charged up Hadouken on the boss, so I will have to, uh, I'll have to try that again with the next boss. Also, you can't use a Hadouken and move at the same time, which is, uh, something you'll have to take into consideration. Nice! Haven't gotten a raid in quite a while. Oh god! Well, I'm glad I was invincible there. Shit. Hey, I traced back. Nice. That'll make the next treasure room more useful. Well, I mean, not that that one wasn't useful, but, uh, it, it is useful for the treasure room. Did I just get hit? No, I was still raging. Okay. That was weird. I like the fireball that's not charged up a whole lot because, well, I mean, I, I like the, like, I like the physics on it. It looks satisfying, which is weird to say, but, um, uh, it has, like, a, a satisfying, like, arc to it. I'm not sure. Oh, bullshit. No! God damn it. I like the Hadouken. I, I don't know if I like it more than the gun, but uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, that's that seems to be the case, CPC Gamer. It's more like the Ghost and Spunky than I thought it was. Um, yeah, someone else was having, like, the video wasn't working for them. So Twitch is having some weird issues tonight, it looks like. Well, now that I know that I can outrun the Grim Reaper, I'm not quite as afraid of this game as I was. Okay, it's Torment, nice. It'll be a good chance for me to test my, uh, my Hadouken theory. Well, if I can, uh, shit. If I can get a hit in. Okay, that did quite a bit of damage and that wasn't even fully charged. Nice. Oh yeah, you, you can't start charging it in the air. Ah. Alright, it's not really... It's not really as efficient as I thought it might be. Look at all that ammo. I needed it. Oh, uh, yeah. That sucks, Sarah. And the, uh, the float is a lot more noticeable when you have a lot of space like this. I should try that with the nunchucks. See how that works out. Bonus soda. Wasn't there uh, an unlock for killing fish? So that's a, uh, it's a fortuitous area. I forget how many fish I need to kill. I think it was ten in one go or something. Shit. Don't want to. Don't want to take my chances here. I could probably... Might be able to pull that jump off. If I'm lucky, but I'd rather just bomb. Some walls are not walls at all. Oh yeah, I've gotten that, uh... I've gotten that advice before. I'm not exactly sure... Not sure what it means. Like, are there walls that I can destroy by slashing? Or do I have to destroy them with, with dynamite? To, uh to get the fairy or whatever is inside them. Or or a familiar, I guess. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. God 
God, those red skeletons are fast sometimes. You piece of shit. Alright, there's another reason. Are you gonna pop up again, you piece of shit? What the hell? Does it just keep spawning forever? It's another reason the lightsaber is good, I guess. <laughs> I just stay here forever. My time never goes down because I'm always on the ghost and just rack up infinite points that way. Probably not not the best way to go though. It wouldn't be much fun. Uh, yeah, I'll take a shield. Shit, I saw the things. I'm messing up. I oh, can't get whatever that item is. Disappearing Inca. Sounds like the punchline to a really obscure knock knock joke. Bullshit. Uh, I have played Castlevania, but I did not know that about Red Skeletons. It's been a long time since I played a Castlevania game, though. Alright, I think I, I just got a suit. Shh. Yep. Kin imitator? Kin kine? I'm not sure that's a reference to something, but uh but I'll try it. Alright. I think I will hmm. Laser sandwich. Okay, so this is something else that can destroy enemy corpses. I think I'm going to go back to the gun and try to... Maybe try to get the 30 monsters in a row thing. That's going to be really tough, though. Because I'm going to have to not... I mean, basically not waste a bullet. Because my max ammo is 30. That'd be pretty nice to have, though. Alright. And I think I'll go back to the dynamite, at least for now. Can't the spiky things. Oh, okay. Yeah, the color does look pretty similar. To the spikes, anyway. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play like I'm a pacifist, but... I'm only going to kill single-hit enemies with the gun. And uh, just avoid any multi-hit enemies. So similar to a pacifist run, but uh, little well, shit. So does that count as not being in a row? Well, my ammo was really low anyway. So, all right, I'll have to wait until I have full ammo and then try the 30 enemies with the gun thing. You piece of shit. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be impossible. I mean, it's basically the same as the pacifist run, except that I get to occasionally kill kill an enemy. I do have to have... I mean, I'll need full ammo before I can start it, though. That's the uh, that's a mistake I made. I forgot you don't start with full ammo. Holy crap, that guy's fast. Well, relatively fast. I'll never have full ammo. I keep wasting it like that. Freaking cool. 
Yeah, not all of the named enemies come from my friends list, by the way. Some of them are, uh, are in-game monsters. I, I guess the game has to put some in there, just in case you don't have any friends. So... But I do, luckily. A couple, anyway. Thanks, familiar. No! Phew! But yeah, Skinny Dev, I'm pretty sure that's not one of my Steam friends. Yeah, it did hurt, thanks. You have no friends. Nobody likes you. Wait, so if he says you'll feel my spite, and his name is Spite, does that mean I'll feel him? I don't want to do that. He looks pointy and uncomfortable. Try to hang on to my bullets. I think they just have to be a little bit more patient. You. So I started listening to a really awesome podcast. If any of you are into podcasts, it's called the Do It's called the Dollop. It's a. It's two comedians. It's a guy named Dave and a guy named Gareth. And every week, they pick a topic talk about in depth like hence the name dollop because it's like a dollop of information or, or a lot of information about one thing like one one dollop of a thing and uh, i've been going through the archives because I, I listen to podcasts at work and i think it's my new favorite podcast because it is it's kind of like this american life if you've ever if you've ever listened to that like really like you know, it's just an in interesting conversation to listen to, but but the guys are also really funny, and it, they talk about a lot of really cool stuff. Like today, I listened to an episode. I'm, I'm listening to them all out of order, but it was about an American mountain man named Hugh Glass, who lived in like the uh, the 18, the late 1800s, or mid to late 1800s, and. Uh, Basically, the host of the show, Dave, he did a Google search for who is the biggest American badass, and uh, that's how he discovered Hugh Glass, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in, like, like they uh, they do some, some topics about history, some topics about things that are going on today. Like, they did a really excellent episode about Ferguson, the, uh, the city that's been in, in the news recently in the U.S., uh, about like the overpowered police force and stuff like that and that wasn't a very funny episode because it's not a very funny topic but uh, it was still super interesting instant rage, nice one of the better items you can get from a box I think you jerk so yeah, the dollop I think it's just the dollop dot Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com, you know, or just just Google it, the Dollop Podcast. And, I mean, they talk about some really out there shit. Listen to another episode today about a guy who stole a tank from a military base and went on a little mini rampage with it. He didn't kill anyone. So it wasn't like a tragic, well, I guess it was a tragic story for him because the cops ended up shooting him, but he didn't kill anyone with the tank. Uh, forget the title of that one. Oh, you, I didn't even see that flomp there. Son of a bitch. Yeah, 
Yeah, good stuff. There's been like it's been like 20 or 30 episodes, I think. Or maybe maybe not even that many. Uh, the, the podcast is called The Dollop. D-O-L-L-O-P. Alright, well, I have full bullets now. Oops. Which means I should not suck. <laughs> yes, EPC Gamer, that, that's, what, that's what the name Hugh Glass made me, made me think of, too. Well... That wasn't a very good run. I eventually got full bullets, so I, so I can go on my little side quest. But uh, by the time I got them, I was pretty low on low on health, so uh, it didn't work out. And again. See, part of me wants to just restart. When I get hit this early into a run, it's just not going to be a bad sign. Or it's not going to be a good sign, rather. Yeah, exactly, Jack. That's, uh, that's how I play these games. Do as I say, not as I do, I guess. Ammonition. Man, I can't believe I died to Torment. The boss is so easy. Probably the easiest boss in the game. I just... I couldn't... I couldn't get the jump going. The super jump. Didn't work. I don't remember. I have dynamite now, too. I kind of forgot about that. Sure, there are situations that would have been helpful to use dynamite. And if the if the survive for ten minutes thing actually means I can't get hit for 10 minutes. That's gonna be tricky. I don't like how they refer to your hit points as lives. To me, a life is something that when you run out of them, or a life is something that when you lose a life, you, you have to lose some progress. And like, if you just immediately continue from, from where you get hit, that's not a life, that's a hit point. Unless you're playing like a shmup. I guess this game uses sh shmup logic for the uh, fudge for the live system. Oops. Wasted a bullet. Wait. Well, I guess that's in case I want to not kill these guys. Which. I don't know why I wouldn't want that. I've gotten three hits. Oh, playing for ten minutes without game over. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've done that, but uh, maybe maybe it doesn't count if you use a shortcut. Oh, hit or destroy the, de the decapitated enemies. Yeah. I should, uh, I should try that. Oh no, well, so much for uh, keeping my bullets. That's all the magic I had? <sighs> well, at least he draws some ammo. It takes these guys forever to shoot. Mm. 
All right, I have I have thirty, so I can actually try this. Of course, I'm way deeper in the dungeon now, so it's going to be a lot harder not to get hit. Of course, maybe it doesn't matter if I get hit. Maybe I just can't kill anything not with a gun. Like, I, I, I have to have 30 kills in a row that are all with the gun. Like, I, I don't have to keep a combo going or anything. I right, don't want to shoot him because it'll take two hits. No! Well, combo breaker. What's wrong, monkey? You ain't scared, are ya? Asshole. Yeah, may maybe I shouldn't try for that gun unlock. Because... If I, if I fixate on that... It will, uh... It will reduce my chances of actually beating hard mode. And I mean that's my that's my ultimate goal of course. Is beating hard mode. Shit. Might take a while. But I wanna say probably not as as long as it took to uh to beat Yama and Spunky. Like I don't think it's gonna be a challenge on that scale. It will be a challenge. But don't don't get me wrong. I am asking for a challenge. But not not quite on that level, I don't think. Of course, there might be a mode in this game that's the equivalent of beating Yama, but uh, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, hey, Tarko, what's up? Thanks for making it out. Oh, you get 10, 10 ammo if you die? I, I think someone mentioned that in a previous stream, but I forgot about it. Okay, well... That will, uh, that's gonna be, okay, I'll try that on my next run, because I'm already pretty, pretty, pretty deep in here. Well, not that deep, but, uh, I guess I, guess I will try. I'll have to look at the wording of that, uh, of that challenge and see, see how, how it actually works. Because I, I might not be able to die, I might have to keep like keep a, a streak running without dying. I don't think it specifies in the uh, in the challenge text though. I always stream past midnight. Well, recently I've been doing some late night streams on the weekend, but uh, if it's a weekday, oh, well, I guess past midnight where you live, because you're you're probably uh, in Europe or or parts nearby, right? Yeah. I wish I could stream earlier for people who don't live in the U.S., but with my with my work schedule, it's tough. I should start streaming more on Saturday and start a stream earlier, earlier, earlier in the day, so my European viewers can uh, have a better chance of making it. You know, if if you're free on a Saturday. I can't believe I died to torment. How how lame is that? Oh, I dropped a couple life. That's nice. East Europe, yeah. Yeah, see, it's uh, 6 p.m. or 6:19 p.m. where I am. Kill myself with a bomb to be sure I don't kill an enemy. Well, now that I'm uh, now that I'm not doing like the pacifist runs anymore, that's not as much of an issue. Holy crap, that's a lot of statues. I'm a rage. I'm a rageaholic. I just can't live without rageahol. Pump the Rage of Hall directly into my veins. Oh god.
Alright, note to self, don't stick around after I kill a red skeleton. The lesson I had to learn the hard way. Are red skeletons invincible in every Castlevania game? Because I played the older Castlevanias and I don't remember that. Or is that like a more recent thing? Because I had Castlevania 2 and 3 for the NES. And uh, I don't remember infinitely respawning skeletons. Yeah, Tarka, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well. Jinx, knock on wood, etc. All the dumb superstitious bullshit that I don't believe in. But I have to say anyway because this game always punishes me when I say I'm doing well. Oh, I guess you can't, uh... SHIT! You can't just shoot open the crates. Infinite dungeon? There's an infinite dungeon? Well, that's interesting. I did not know about that. Is that what the, uh... The trans-dimensional vortex thing is? Is, is that infinite? Is, is that just like a high score challenge thing? Like there's no end to it? Or maybe, maybe the infinite dungeon is something I just haven't un unlocked yet. I like how the ghost gives different advice when you get further into the dungeon. That's uh... That's a nice touch. Shit. Oh, I got my, uh, got my ticket. Got my golden ticket. Could sing a song about it, but, uh, I already did that in the last stream, to my humiliation. Nice! But I'm expecting that to actually give me a rage. Or did I get a pickup? I didn't notice. Points? Okay. Yeah. Shit! Where the hell did those things come from? I was all happy because I got an unlock. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's a good point, Centron. Hey, I broke 300 in one run. That's a first for me. Where the hell do those little bug things come from? They just spawned out of nowhere. Oh, hey! Wait, so is that 10 seconds on top of the 35 I already had? Like, do they stack? Will I have 45 seconds now, or just 40? I'll have to, uh... I'll have to see. Alright, so I'm going to try the... Man, I have so many tickets for this. So does anyone know if this is the infinite dungeon or is the infinite dungeon something else? Oh, the time bonuses don't stack. Bummer. Well, I guess I would have been disappointed eventually, Jack, so I don't, uh... I'm not upset that you told me. All right. Totally going to try for the gun thing after this rage is over. Because you know, I like starting, I, li I like starting a run out with a rage. That's a, it's a good, it's a good way to start a thing. All right, one shot left. So. Shit. This is a very bad layout for if you don't want to kill anything. Pretty sure Pierre Kirby is on my friends list. Not sure about Pledstra. Name sounds familiar. But that might just be because I already uh Alright, so yeah, that does that does give you ten uh ten bullets when you die. 
That's interesting. Of course, I could have just waited for the Grim Reaper to kill me instead of, uh, instead of dynamiting myself, but, you know, I wanted, wanted to go out in style. I don't think I've killed an enemy not with a gun yet. I'm not sure though. Very easy to just accidentally hit the sword button. Well, that probably messed me up. Hey Galen. Yeah, every, everyone's been having issues with the Twitch chat. Someone didn't have video. Someone was like 15 seconds behind. So, I'm not surprised that you don't have sound. Just try refreshing, I guess. But you, you can't hear me, so... Alright, well, I don't want to... I don't want to waste this run. Because, because I screwed up my, uh, my gun combo. So, Alright, I need to actually keep count. That's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Alright, I'm not going to try this all night. I just want to, uh, two, three, four, five, wait, I guess, I guess I shot him. It's weird that he, like, well, I guess that's just the default death animation for that monster. How many is that? Six? Might be seven. Six or seven. Let's go with seven. Eight. Nine. 10. And I used my sword because I was out of ammo. Okay, I'm just going to keep going since since I haven't gotten hit. That, that might not be a very entertaining feat to watch me try to get. See if I can beat my uh, beat my floor record. That's my record, 300, 303. So yeah, let's, let's, I guess my next goal is just trying to beat that. Because I don't want to sit here and count me all night. I mean, you came here to watch me play video games, not, not to watch Sesame Street fanfiction. Which is obviously what me counting is, just Sesame Street fanfiction. Of course, if I could keep this going for a minute, that would be a pretty good feat to go for. Not, yeah, not lo not likely though, because smart bombs don't add to your rage meter, or that they they don't keep your rage combo going. So that's an instance when killing everything on the screen is actually bad. If you want to try to keep your rage going. Oh yeah, the enemy randomizer. Seem to give me the same things, just in a different format. Oh, oh well. Yeah, that 60 second thing is gonna be tough. What? I totally hit jump again. Bull honky. Whoa. What? Well, those count as enemies, so. That was really weird. They're like flotation devices. And once you keep your rage going for a really long time, you get like an awesome looking red red trail behind you. That's really cool looking. 
Well, 26 seconds. <sighs> Alright. Yep. I'm using my gun. Shit. Fuck! I tried to... I don't know what I tried to do. Well, at least I'm fully healed now. And still only have two fairies. Ah, there's a thing for getting 50 fairies? It's gonna take forever. It's taking me forever just to get three. Oh, bull crap! Maybe I should look up, like, if there's actually a trick to getting fairies. Or to finding them. Because other than ones that the familiars unearth, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how they can be located. I wonder if they actually do anything, or if they're just a pointless collectible. They seem like it's just a pointless collectible. Well, not pointless, because you unlock stuff for collecting them, but, like, they, they don't have an... They don't have an in-game effect, and I just got a 1-up for 100, 100k. Nice. Come on, fairy. Well, I guess the fairy doesn't, uh... I guess that doesn't count as a secret. And I don't know why... Well, I guess I do know why. Sometimes it's the slash... Like the slash that uh, that circles all the way around you, and sometimes it's just like a straight, straight down attack like that. And the trick is you have to be moving horizontally to get the full slash. And if you're if it's just a vertical drop, then it's just a plain old uh, just plain old sword down attack. I was trying to think if there was if there was a fancier thing to call that, but I guess not. Or well, there might be, but I just don't know it. At least I know not to rush through those those areas with the uh, the barriers and the statues. Oh hey, see? How would I have known there was a fairy there if my familiar didn't unearth it? Maybe that's just something something you have to have a a familiar for. I'm not doing, like, the decapitation thing. I keep forgetting. What do I have to do? Like... Something about stomping ahead? <sighs> Run is going bad. There aren't really a ton of enemy types in this game, so I guess the randomizer isn't like the most dramatic, uh, the most dramatic effect we can have. Aw. My rage would have lasted way longer if I didn't get that smart bomb. Oh well. Just destroy the heads. Well, it takes a few hits to destroy them, which is why I'm hesitant to go after that. I had to switch to Chrome. To, to get the sound working? It's so weird. Oh well. Oh weird, my, my chat client just now... ...popped up. It's just now popping up like... Messages for when people say my name and stuff. That, that's that's weird. Oh, apparently my torment is here. Wait. Oh, the fairy like the fairy like hovers around with the familiar. Okay. Cause there's like a little sparkling thing next to the familiar now. I guess that's uh. 
I guess that means the familiar is required to get the fairies. Since they, like, go together or something. So weird, maybe there is an effect, since it kind of sticks with me like that. I didn't notice that before. And I'm so glad I learned how to do the super jump. Boss is just so much easier with that. Two health and a ton of money. Nice. Alright. 200. Holy... What?! What?! Oh my god! My familiar... Gave me a fairy. But it caused those spikes up above to fall on me. That is some bullshit. But yeah, see I have two fairies now. Instead of just... Instead of just, just the one. Fuck! Man, I kinda miss the Hadouken. Shit! Maybe now that I'm not going for that gun achievement, I'll switch back to the Hadouken. That's a nice, uh, nice upgrade. I see you. Fuck you. Ah, oh, man, I always get a smart bomb after I get a rage. That sucks. Well, because I can still still keep it going for a little while. Oh, that's it. I mean, if I actually paid attention to the power-ups and didn't pick up things I didn't want, then uh, that would be a different matter. Is my familiar just randomly breaking walls now? Oh, wait. Oh. Well, see, that, that fairy was actually, like, marked. Maybe they're all marked and I just didn't notice. What?! I attacked it! Oh, I have three fairies following me now, so... Oh my god. Well, maybe fairies aren't as uncommon as I thought. Nice. Damn it. Suddenly the level was Mario Bricks, yeah. Th those areas are kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the three fairies upgrade. Kamikaze magic. The last resort. Aw oh, man, I have to hurt myself to use it? I don't like that. I hate items that require you to hurt yourself. Alright, um, I'm going to do a few more runs, uh, but BRB.
and I'm back. Got me some apple juice. The sugar will give me strength to continue. Yeah, CBC Gamer, uh, they've been saying in interviews and stuff recently that they're planning on making a comeback, or they've at least been hinting it. Hinting at it, but, uh, yeah, I'm with you. I want more. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to use the Kamikaze magic. Because the whole point of magic is to, is to try not to get hurt. Should I do a few trans-dimensional leakage levels before, before I end it? Give me your thoughts. Alright, so those things don't even leave a head. See, it takes like three hits to destroy the head, which is kind of a lot of time to spend on, uh, on trying to get an upgrade. But I mean, how many do I need? I, I forget what the, uh, forget what the criteria was, because if it's just like ten, then that, that won't take too, too much time. Of course, during the tutorial segment, I have all the time I need. I guess it doesn't take that long. I mean, I do feel kind of, uh... Kind of weird destroying all these heads. Makes me feel like a monster, not just a murder. I mean, decapitating people is one thing. But you should at least respect the heads. Oh, wait, can I just, like, do a down slash on the head to destroy it instantly? Looks like it. Yeah. I, I guess that's why it says head stomping. Because it's, it's a lot easier to do that than to just hit them to hit it with your sword three times. Oh, gotta take advantage of this. No head stomping right now. I'll go back to head stomping in a minute. It's not like in a row or anything, is it? I, I doubt it. It's probably just a certain number of heads in one, uh, in one run. I just, I, I just forget what the number is. Alright, I can go back to head stomping now. Man, these things don't leave behind heads. They just explode. Not very sporting of them. Nice! Does the monkey leave ahead? I guess not. Yeah, thanks for thanks for the tip about stomping heads. I uh, kind of forgot about that one. Yeah, monkeys. Well, I'm not actually decapitating them. Like, maybe if I actually hit them, they leave behind a head. Oh no, you just slice them in half, that's right. Damn it, I want that crate. Alright, not gonna panic. Just a Grim Reaper. Nothing to worry about. Well, wanted to get that, uh, get that time, but, uh, apparently the game had other plans. Shit! <sighs> oh my god! Alright, I'll show off the transdimensional leakage before before I end the stream. I mean I have six tickets, it's not like I need to need to hoard them or anything. I'm watching top right corner to see if I got uh see if I got and unlock. I haven't been counting the number of heads or anything. Yeah. 
Well, I'm at the boss. Oh well. Yeah, like I was super st stoked about the April Fools episode. Oh, I hate this guy. Well, I have three magic, so I guess I should uh, make use of them. Did that even hit him? Yeah, I guess so. Bunch of crap. Well, except for the health. Bull! No, that wasn't bullshit. That was totally my fault. That was a close call. I think that was Shikan I just killed. And not not Shikan, the Genesis character, but the person on my friends list named after the Genesis character. Or Genesis game, I guess. Was his name actually Shikan? Or was Shikan some other thing in the game? I forget. I think his name was Shikan. No! All right, well, I've stomped, stomped plenty of heads in this playthrough. Hopefully, hopefully it's been enough. And I just missed the, uh, missed the notification. No! Damn it. Oh god. Ms. Jam. I think I've seen both Mr. and Ms. Jam now. I see you there, motherfucker. No! Oh my god, how did I not die there? Okay, the skeletons are kind of like the, uh, those little bubble enemies from Mega Man. Like, they always move when you're on the same plane as them. At least that's what it looks like. So theoretically, I could jump and prevent the skeletons from, from running towards me. Okay, so it actually tells you about the glide. I just, uh, I never read that one. This guy doesn't have a head. He has a bomb. I can't stomp that. Yep, I saw you. Seeing a lot better about noticing those guys. Which means I'm sure now that I said that, I won't notice the next one. Oh <coughs> shit, okay. So I have gotten this guy before, I just I just wasn't able to kill him last time. I have no idea what this guy's going to do. I just know he's ginormous. Oh cool, it still hit him even though he was off. Oh, I remember this guy. He drops those fucking statues. I hate that. Alright, so, so the statues don't stick around. They spray fire and then they blow up. But I don't think I realized that last time. And it seems like it's always going to be the red ones. At least it has been so far. So as long as he doesn't drop... Aw, uh, see the, the statue blocks your shots, which is kind of a bummer. Oh fuck. Did not get out of the way in time. Alright, well, that's, that's one milestone out of the way. Did he give me an unlock for that, or just a Chivo? 
I didn't notice. Also, I don't think it gave me any health. Uh. Asshole. Uh. <sighs> okay, here I go. The real shit's gonna start in a minute. Uh. Don't need that clock, I just started. Hmm. Looks like there might be... No, I guess not. Shit. Well, I still kind of want to blow this up. Okay, yeah, these are just a different colored block. They're not, they're not a secret or anything. Shit! Been 40 seconds already? Time flies. No! Phew! Shit. Oh god. What? Oh. oh yeah, I can't get out of here now without using more dynamite. I wonder if when Alfred Nobel invented dynamite, he could have imagined how prevalent it, it would be in video games. Like, I mean, obviously they didn't have video games at the time, but, uh, like, I wonder, wonder if he knew it, it would become, like, uh, a cultural touchstone in, like, Looney Tunes and stuff. Bonus. Ah! I didn't see the spikes sticking out of the floor that time. Shield. I like the shield. That's basically an extra hit point. Cowabunga. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of spikes. Bonus. Take the easy way out. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like those wizardy guys one bit. The ones in the orange robes that teleport when you hit them. One of my least favorite enemies, I think. Shit. Lost my shield. Oh well. Anything over here? No. That guy? Do not like him. Why did the fish shatter? It was like a very distinct you asshole shattering sound effect. So I wonder what happens if I dynamite the bottom of uh of a pool of water like that. I wonder if the same thing happens that happens in Splunky, where all the water just goes pouring out. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have to try it next time. I mean I'm sure I've stomped enough heads by this point. Because I've stomped like a billion heads. No! Damn it! Why did I hit down? No reason for me to have hit down there. Oh! Well, look at that! The freaking Spectre guy randomized and turned into another Spectre. Oh, yeah, Jeff Quicksand, the inventor of Quicksand. I need to be talking to all of these ghosts, because there's an unlock for talking to ten of them. Like, I usually just don't bother, but I should. I should bother. No! Damn it. The fuck away from me. Oh, I think that was the uh, the unlock for stomping heads, because I got it as soon as I as soon as I stomped a head. Wow, don't know what unlock that was. Oh right.
Whoops. Well. Floor 327. Wow, I was so close. Oh, that must have been the unlock for surviving for 10 minutes. Or one of them was. Alright, let's uh, see my presence and... Wow, something in every category. That That is awesome. Good kill Doom. Alright, got the axe. Survive for 10 minutes. More projectiles. I love it. And... Crush 50 enemy skulls. Destroy spikes. Wow. That's probably just a one-time use thing. But imagine if it's not. Of course, it's a pickup I'm going to have to get, so... But still. Oh, and also something else. Kill 10 named enemies. Okay. Increases the chance of getting an item or treasure from a creator enemy. Lucky, unlucky rabbits, but... Okay. I can dig it. Well, since I unlocked the axe, let's try it out. And, uh, do a few transdimensional leakage runs before I, before I call it quits for, for Shodan. That's what people in the know call Super House of Dead Ninjas. I, I know I said I start Splunky at 7, but, uh, I do want to do some, uh, some transdimensional leakage runs. Alright. Alright, that's pretty much- What?! That's weird. Okay. So yeah, the axe behaves pretty much the way I, ex I expected it to. It's like a rogue legacy axe, or a Castlevania axe. Shit! What- What is that pickup? Oh, that enemy ate it! I, I guess it was like- It was like bait. It was luring me into his clutches. And that mushroom exploded. Great. And there's a thing in the background that just hit me. Awesome. And the axe kind of sucks. Well, compared to when you're used to the gun, the axe sucks. God, what what are these enemies even? Is that another bait? Yeah, looks like it. Great. Randomized into the same thing. That seems to happen a lot with the randomizer. Oh, I can't even hit that thing with the uh, with the axe. Bonus. Shit. Yeah, there's the the leakage is weird. Okay, so statues are different colors, so can't go with what I know. Red. Red or fire, or blue or projectiles. Oh god. I feel pretty good about the stream. I didn't make it to the last boss, but I beat my my last record by quite a bit. I unlocked a ton of stuff. Shit. It's a weird looking bomb. At least I can still decapitate those guys. What? Aww. Oh, there's a, a curse in that crate. That immediately made the Grim Reaper spawn. I wonder if there are other curses besides that. Or if that's the only one. Oh, now, now the world is made of dinosaurs. Awesome. There, there's like dinosaur windows. What are the orange things? Are they like candy? They, they look kind of like those uh, those really terrible peanut butter candies you get at you get at Halloween. Uh, hello, item Nazo. YouTube brought you here. Well, I have to thank YouTube. Didn't realize that was that wasn't part of the background. Uh, okay. Well. That was interesting. Let's, uh, let's try again. Why the heck not? Death awaits. Death awaits. So there's like hornets and math and dinosaurs and food. 
seems to be the uh, food seems to be the main recurring theme as far as the uh, the level layout goes. <laughs> the demon thing gave me 999 instead of 666. It's extra satanic. Wasn't there some movie a few years back that like the big marketing for it was like it used the number 999 instead of 666? Oh, it had to do with the year 1999, I think. So it was quite a while back, and uh, it like took the year 1999 and it, it like flipped it over, so like the 999 turned into a 666. To like prove that 1999 was like a satanic year or something. I might, I might be completely making this up. But uh, that seems to be something that would have happened. Theoretically, this would be a good place to uh, to try to keep a rage going for a long time because because there are so many more enemies. Oops, dead. What did the stream die? Or are you saying that because I died? Because if you said it because I died, you're going to be saying that quite a bit during these during these streams. Oh god. So I wonder what the difference is between the blue ones- Oh my god! And the green ones. If there is a difference. And there's bombs and crates. So maybe this is the infinite dungeon. Because one of the ghosts said something about, uh, about crates containing traps in the infinite dungeon. And uh, that's, that's exactly what just happened. There was a trap in a crate. Shit. Oh yeah, I should have switched back from my uh, from the axe. All right, see what I unlocked. Mm-hmm. And the why? Oh, it's just a new suit. We're defeating six thousand enemies. Holy shit, that is not easy on the eyes. All right, let's do one more leakage run, and then I will call it a night for Shodan, and uh, switch over to some. Spelunky. Yeah, okay, so I got two runs out of one one ticket, so once you, once you're in the leakage, you can retry as many times as you want, but as soon as you back out to the main menu, you uh you forfeit the rest of that ticket. Man, if there are things that I can't kill with a slash attack, that's gonna really mess me up. Because I'm so used to the slash attack being able to kill everything in this game. Their are enemies... There are enemies that the slash attack cannot defeat. Like this guy. Okay. Whoa, that is a cool looking background. I, I kind of just, I kind of just noticed it. Holy crap. Maybe I'll do one more leakage run after this. Which is a really gross thing to say. I'm, I really... I resent this game for making me use the phrase leakage run. Man, those things, they shoot a lot. This suit is kind of appropriate for for this area, though. Look at that face in the background. That is creepy. Who is that? Why is he watching me? The background's probably been there the whole time. I just didn't, uh... Jesus! Oh man, I should have switched my gun. I'm a dummy. This is not good. I didn't even see that buzzsaw there.
All right, let's do one more. I want to at least see if I can make it to a boss. If there are bosses. <laughs> if there are bosses in this zone. No! All right, I think those guys always shoot three times. Seems to be the pattern so far. Some tough enemies in this area. Really have to use your noggin. Try to keep this rage train rolling as long as I can. Oh. oh my god. You can barely, barely see the, uh, the buzzsaws in, in, in this area. I want to try to avoid saying leakage as long as possible. Thanks! That was fair. Sure, have an unkillable enemy pop up from the bottom of the damn screen. God, no! Holy god, look at all these spikes! Damn it! Spike away. The lead dev, yeah, probably. Actually, I don't even know who developed this game. I just know it was published by Adult Swim. I know nothing about the people who, who actually made it. These things that pop up and throw balls at you remind me of the ball hog from Sonic. From Sonic 1. They throw an orb at you that just kind of continues forever until it randomly explodes. So I guess it's not forever. Kind of the opposite of forever. I'm doomed. Yep. You sucker! Yeah, I, I should not have tried to do this with the axe. I just keep wanting to use my gun, and I remember I can't. Great! Did I make it 84? Well, that's transdimensional leakage. That's uh something I'll try a little bit every time I every time I stream this game. But hey, 327 is my uh, my my highest run, or I should say my lowest run so far, which is pretty good. I have a feeling next time. Oops. That's okay. Next time is the time I make it to Ardbargle. I can feel it. Wow, that suit is ostentatious. Alright, I didn't I didn't like unlock anything, did I? No. Don't like the axe. Tricky to use, yeah, that's that's an understatement. Although, the ability <clears throat> the ability to hit stuff below me would be pretty cool. What do I have to do to unlock this? Hundred kills with the axe. Um That'd be annoying, but it probably isn't undoable. All it is is more damage, though, so not really that important. All right, well, this has been Super House of Dead Ninjas. Uh, if you're watching live, stay tuned because I'm going to load up Splunky and do some, uh, some some chill streaming. You know, probably not going to be as much talking in that stream, but uh, we should still have fun. And... Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Super House of Dead Ninjas sometime in the future. Probably in the not-too-distant future. So, for those of you on YouTube, see you around. For those of you on Twitch, see you soon. <laughs>